I got it for my birthday yesterday. It's so cool. I've been taking lots of cool pictures with it. That's cool. Can I record videos? Yeah. See? I know what we can do. What? We can make a movie. What kind of movie? A scary movie. Okay, and I'll be the killer. Here, let's use this one instead. But what's wrong with this one? It looks too fake. You want our movie to be good, right? Yeah, but this one's really sharp. If you want to be a good actress, you have to learn how to do your own stunts. And if you're too scared to be the killer, then I'll be it. No, I'm the killer. I can do it. So I need to be down in the shed? Yeah, because I'm going to be hiding behind the door. And action! So many hallways, so many I stairs. You, I don't care. I cramp easy. I need you to escort this one out now. Okay. Who gets the Well, you know, I'm, I'm scared right. of that creepy little girl, man. Rock, paper, scissors, right? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock. Nothing beats rock. Let me come on. Again. Come with me. No, no, come on. No. I'm running out of patience. I'm sorry. Here. Come on. I'm sorry. Come on. Serious? It really? You, you got lost? It's a huge place. You worked here I, for ten years. It's been a quick ten years. Are Can you fucking drunk today? A little high. A little high. What are these pictures? Of what? My family? family? You don't have a family. You want to know why you don't have a family? Because you killed them. Oh. You sick little <laughs> Take her downstairs for her treatment. I have to take the killer? Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't really get paid Take that much. Take her! No, please. Alright, little girl. Please. Hello, no. kitty. Let's go. No, please! Come no. with me. No. Come on, please. little girl. Go! No. Ah!
Hey, this is the rear exit and everything's nice and quiet down here. Where's it's nice and quiet down there, you work in the basement, what do you expect? Eh, fuck you. How's the scenery? I gotta say, you oversold it to me when you uh, told me about the job. Fuck off, man. Let's rear exit out. On exit out. the tickets for Shadow Woods Metal Fest. We're gonna miss Sadistic Vision play. And I told you to fill up the truck with gas before we left the house. How much gas do we have? We're almost out. There's a gas in there, pull up. All right. So what the fuck's wrong with you? Why are you, what, what, why are you so mad? Because you uh, left the ticket at home because you were on your phone texting that motherfucker Paul A. Jack. I wasn't even talking to Paul, I was talking to no more. That's bullshit. I don't believe that. You don't have to talk to him all day long, every day. He's just a friend. I can talk to him if I want to, you know? You don't have to talk to him all the goddamn time. Well, he's my friend. I like to talk to him. You can't tell me what to do. You can talk to him at work. Well, we got enough gas money to get there and back. I got enough for gas. I don't know what to say.
Mom? Dad? Well, what did y'all find out? The orderly said she was like this this morning when he was doing his rounds. Something happened, must have happened last night. What's, what patient's room is this? Hanneke Mitchell, 24, admitted in 2002 for killing her mother. Missing? Yeah, she's not here. Well, I guess we have our suspect. This woman must have been left here to bleed out. She didn't put much of a fight. Judging by the smell of the alcohol on her body. She was drunk, but you're wrong. She was definitely putting up a fight. What makes you say that? How the hell did I miss that? You see there was another body? Yeah, in the basement. Okay, I want to talk to the orderly as well. That's where they found the second victim. But where's the body? I had them take it off already. What kind of police work is that? How can I have an investigation without a body? Gentlemen, what can I do for you? Why don't you go ahead and tell us what happened this morning? All right, well, I got here at 9.15, I mean, no, 8. I got here at 8, as I do every morning. I'm always on time, 8 o'clock sharp. So I got here at 8. Uh, I, th I thought something was a little strange, but I didn't hear Nurse Lorenzo yelling and calling for me, which she always does. Uh, so I thought that was strange, and then I came down about 9.15, no, 8.15. I came down here at... All right, hold on. What is it? 9.15 or 8.15? Get it exact. You're confusing me. 8.15. It was definitely 8.15. So I came down here at 8.15, as I said before, um, and I noticed uh, Corey was laying on, on the floor, and I was like, man, get up, you lazy bum. You know, we got work to do. And then I saw the blood... And, you know, naturally, I, I went upstairs to find Nurse Lorenzo, and she was nowhere to be found. So then, you know, my IBS starts acting up, I have to use the bathroom, and I promptly give the cops a call after that. You're going to use the bathroom before you call the cops. IBS, man. <clears throat> so when did you find Nurse Lorenzo's body? Nurse Lorenzo's body? Well, after I came down after my 25-minute you know, release my IBS, you know. Uh, I started look, looking for it, cause I, you know, I went to her first when I saw Corey's body, and I, you know, I walked into a patient's room and there she was. You know, this, what a shift. Exactly what time did you find Nurse Lorenzo's body? Well, not in time, cause she was dead. That's not a joke. This is serious. Please stop talking to the imbecile. Back to work with you. Go clean the toilets or something. Mm. And who are you? I'm Dr. Taylor, the head psychiatrist in this facility. What can you tell me about this patient? You need to catch her immediately. <sighs> She's unpredictable and dangerous. Do you know where she would have gone? She hasn't spoken in years. But there was one nurse she uh, was close to. You might want to try to find her.
Hi, is this Miss Moran? Yeah. Can I help you? This is Detective Richards with the OCPD. I was told that you was a nurse for Blue Ridge Psychiatric Facility. Yeah, I worked there about 15 years ago. Miss Moran, do you remember a patient that you had? A little girl named Anaki Mitchell. Yeah, I remember Anaki. She was a very special girl. Well, it appears that she's escaped and considered very dangerous. Is there anywhere that she could be going or targeting somebody? Yeah. She, um, she used to always talk about another girl. I think her name was Erin Warden. She was. <laughs> Hello? Miss Moran? Hello? Damn it! Hey, Emma. I didn't mean to run into you. I just, I thought, I thought I saw something. That's fine. What'd you think you saw? I, I thought I saw a woman, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's not important. Again, I'm so sorry. It's fine. <laughs> well, I'm Amber. I'm Erin. Good to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. <laughs> but I gotta be honest, you look a little freaked out, man. Sorry, I guess I just spooked myself out being the only one in the store and all. But there's somebody up there. Here? No, honey, there's nobody in here but you two. I guess I'm just going insane. I'm new in town, so maybe we should go hang out. This sounds like a plan. Oh, shit, man. Shit, man, you got a weed again? Man, you were just here, dog. I know, man, but I'm going out of town this weekend. I need some extra supplies. Plus, I've seen if you had any eggs on you. Eggs? I ain't think you fuck with this. I don't, but I'm picking some up for Andrea. Andrea? 
Yeah, I'm going up to a cabin this weekend with Adrian Aaron. Are oh, you part of Adrian Aaron? I love him. Yep. I'm supposed to be meeting them now, so if we could hurry this up, I still got to get him in shape so they could have a place to sit tonight. Yeah, I got you, man. Appreciate it, man. But I'm getting out with that dildo. Later, man. Later, ho. It's uh, lovely to see you too. I'm serious, Josh. You made us all stand around here and wait when you knew what time you were supposed to be here. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez, don't do a titty tantrum. It's not like this whole thing wasn't thrown together at the last minute anyway. That's some shit to do first, Aaron. You made us all wait around so you could go by weed, didn't you? Yes, the did, Aaron. And as soon as I get done hating this anger of you, we can smoke some so you can chill the out. You know, maybe chill the a little bit. Ugh, you're such a child. Nuh-uh. What the f*** is doing here? Because she's my friend and this whole camp thing wouldn't work without her. That's her family's land, so be nice. I'm always nice, Aaron. I just wish I'd have known she was coming. I'd have brought her a gift, but I left all my holy water at the house. Josh? Dude, Josh! Man, what is he doing here? Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, it's great to see you, man. What the f*** are you doing here? Oh, Travis invited me, man. Why? Oh, uh, dude, because, like, he uh, wanted to see if I could bring all that cool, like, extra camping equipment and stuff, man. I got all this cool stuff, like, we can go hunting for Bigfoot. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Dude, 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 dude. wait a minute. We were in the middle of a private conversation, so if you could go uh, off over there for a minute. Oh, uh, dude. Uh, my, my bad, man. Yeah. Did you want me to just wait, yes, wait over there? over there. Fuck off. I'll be there never. Uh, uh, okay, I'll be over there, man. Okay, go ahead. All right, man. Take we, care. Right over there. Yes. Did Travis really invited him? Yeah. What the hell for? He's not coming with us. He's already here. I'm not going to uninvite him. Well, it's a good thing I brought my bike because I'm not riding with him. Actually, Amber says that you can't bring your bike. The road's there too bad. Well, well then I'm riding with you because I'm not riding with Grizzly Adams over there. Amber's riding with me, and the last thing I need is for you to piss her off before we even get there. Why can't she ride with Robert? Because she's my friend, and I'm not going to stick her in a vehicle with a bunch of people she barely knows. I am not riding with Captain Insano. Aaron, wait. Please don't go. I'm just going for the weekend. I'll be back on Sunday. But I don't want you to go. I had a bad dream that you got lost in the woods. Lost in the woods? Yeah, you were running and it was dark and you never came back. It's not that kind of trip. I'll be back on Sunday. But I don't want you to go. I won't get lost, I promise. Okay. So guys, I'm not saying that Bigfoot is real. I mean, the idea that such a creature could go for so long without being discovered by scientists, that's a pretty outlandish thing to think. He'd have to be endangered to say the least because, you know, if he had a decent sized population, there's no way that, you know, by now scientists and forest rangers and stuff wouldn't have discovered him. But if Bigfoot did have the intelligence level in order to knowingly avoid human contact in human populated areas, and also to camouflage himself and his surroundings, and possibly even to bury, you know, the dead members of his Bigfoot family. I'm just saying, guys, I think I'd like to meet him. Hey, Robert. Yeah, what's up, dude? Will you please shut the f up about Bigfoot? You've been babbling for 20 minutes. Nobody gives a f Give it a break. S sorry, man. I'm just saying, though, what do you think he eats? God damn it, Robert. Shut the f up. Josh, I'm sorry, dude. I'll try to stop talking about Bigfoot, man. I was just sitting there trying to think about, I don't know, maybe he's like a carnivore. Or... Why? Why did you invite him? Do you have any idea how close him to be in this fucking truck? Are you playing the odds or the game? You're right, we'll be the casual. You alright? You look tired. Yeah, I just, I haven't been sleeping well. Why not? I just, I keep having these dreams. Like, it's like I wake up and there's, there's this woman in my house. But it's like, two seconds later, she's not there. Do you recognize her? No, I mean, she doesn't look like anybody that I know. It's, she's just there and then she's gone. It sounds like you're dreaming. I mean, it feels like I'm awake, but at the same time, I don't know. Kind of weird. A little bit. <laughs> so, this place is...
place is completely secluded, like no other cabins around? Not within screaming distance. And it's your family's land? It's my uncle's. He likes to go hunting and fishing. He doesn't really use it that much, so he rents it out and I get to use it whenever I want. So, do you use it often? I used to come up here a lot when I was younger, but I haven't been up here in years. Well, thanks for letting me invite everyone. I know you don't really know them, but they're cool people. It's cool. I trust your taste in friends. So, what do you think of Josh? Except that one. Okay, what's the real reason you think? Honestly, I think he's trash and I don't see how you guys even hang out with him. Come on now, he's not trash. He just has an aggressive personality. You just gotta get to know him. I don't believe that, but to each their own. Is he gone? Yeah. Wait! Thank you, God. Uh, he'll find way. Well, it appears that Hulk has defeated Superman after all. That, sir, was not a fair fight. <sighs> just have to call the brother up. Hey, bro. Hello? What do you want, Robert? Dude, uh, I need a favor. And what is that? Uh, can you come get me? I, I'm not coming to pick you up. Come on, dude. I thought you said you were going camping or something. Yeah, dude, I still am. I just need you to come pick me up. <laughs> you got left again, didn't you? Shut up, dude. It's not like last time. Man, you are such a loser. No, I'm I not. Told you nobody wanted to hear that bull about Bigfoot. Look, dude. The I'm... idiot goes into the forest looking for a fictional creature. Fictional? Dude, you play Pokemon Go. That's literally what you do all the time. Look, dude, are you coming to get me or not? Hmm. Not? Oh, dude! Try something else. Call Dad. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Dad, can you pick me up? Come pick me up. Yeah. Why? Where are you? I'm on the side of the road. Side of the road? Well, what the hell are you doing there? I got left. Left? Robbie, not again. What are you doing to these people? I didn't do anything. People don't leave someone on the side of the road for no reason, Rob. Well, that's what happened. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't come get you, son. Why not? Robbie, I'm afraid if I keep picking you up off the side of the road, that's where you'll keep ending up. Sorry, son. Maybe you'll learn from this experience. Wait, but Dad... Aww. Oh, well, I guess I couldn't ask for a nicer late afternoon to go on a nice long walk. <laughs> kidding, man. <laughs> sucks. Man, if Hulk was walking beside me, man, his green ass would just be walking. I wish I could fly like Superman. Superman's death is better. Huh? Uh, uh, hi. Hello. Um, uh, do, do you need some assistance? Uh, I, I'm fine. I, I, I don't. That's a, that's, that's, that's a pretty cool mask. Are, are you a nurse? Uh, hopefully you don't work at a children's hospital. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Now, uh, I know most gentlemen aren't intimidated by a, a strong female, especially an attractive one. But I, you know, consider myself a gentleman, an advocate of uh, women's rights and social justice, and so if I guess if you, if you, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Start off. Ah! 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 Ah!
something. Trying to crank out some damn fucking party, right? No. You're gonna help me unpack first. Fine. I'll get the beer. Fine. Fine. Where are you taking me? Surprise. Why are we jumping a lot of fence? in the past I'm over it. Thanks for bringing me though. Well listen, I have something well, well, I want well. to do. What do we have here? What's a couple of girls like y'all doing out here? Who the f are you? Oh pardon me. My name's John. You can call me Johnny Boy. What about y'all? I'm Erin and this is Amber and we're staying in the cabin up here. Oh, is that so? Yeah, it is, John. Well, maybe I'll come up and visit you sometime. I can be real friendly. We're not looking for friends, so you can move along. Well, there's no reason to get rude, miss. I just came over to introduce myself, seeing how this is my land and all. What are you talking about? This is Mr. Hodder's land. Was. Mr. Hodder's been dead about seven years now. This is my land now. Well, we were just leaving anyway. Well, the law says I can shoot trespassers. Friends aren't trespassers. So you can either be my friend or not. Are you threatening us, you piece of Come on, Amber, let's go. You can go back to farm animals with hillbilly Yeah, just go. You're not welcome here, tramp. Richard, I got a hold of that Aaron girl's family. Her father told me that she and her friends went up to the cabin this weekend. Okay, send me the address. I'm gonna go ahead and hit up there. I got a call from CCPD. They found Nurse Moran's body on the side of 15. I don't want to take any chances. Okay, and I finally tracked down Anaki's father, Mr. Mitchell. Okay, I'm here now. I'll see if he knows anything. All right, keep me posted. Mr. Mitchell, I'm Detective Johnson. I'd like to talk to you about your daughter. What do you want? Mr. Mitchell, it's taken me a while to track you down. There was an address for you at the hospital. Why are you telling me this? Excuse me? There's a reason the hospital didn't have no address for me. When I dropped her off at the hospital, I gave all rights to the state. So as far as I'm concerned, this has nothing to do with me. I understand. I just wanted to know if you was wondering if you knew where she might be. Oh, I know exactly where she's headed. You do? Where? This made it pretty clear. You can keep it. What is this? Just watch it. Where did you get this? My daughter hand delivered it to me a couple days ago. I thought you said you haven't seen her. 
There ain't no saving that girl. After watching that video, she's got what is coming. Because you two are the only two here that are a couple doesn't mean you get the bed. Actually, it's Amber's cabin, so I feel like she should get the bed. In the same room, I'll just share the bed with her. No, that's okay. I'll just take the couch. Okay, whatever. I enjoy everybody fighting over it anyway. You guys figure it out. Shut the door. Dude, don't me this weekend. Dude, you're not the one I'm trying to you're already a couple. You can do this anytime. I'm trying to get laid this weekend and I can't do it on the air mattress in the living room. It's okay. We can share. I'm not interested in an orgy with you, Travis. Oh. Whenever we're out using the bedroom, you use the bedroom. Just put a on the door or something. But we get the bedroom at night. All right, dude. When opportunity strikes, I need to come if you know what I'm saying. Break that. Where's Travis and Andrea? In the bedroom. Hey, Eric. You play some drinking games now? Yeah, man. Sure, why not? I'm not gonna use them. You wanna uh, mind seeing if uh, Travis and Andrea wanna play? I guess so, man. Why not? So we're all hanging around the cabin in the middle of the woods, far from earshot. You guys wanna tell some scary ghost stories? Yeah, we're not a bunch of Boy Scouts. Let's play some uh, drinking games there. What kind of drinking games? All right, let me think. I say we play I've Never. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Okay, I'll go first. I've never shaved my pubes before. First shoe this morning. You, Josh. <laughs> Eric, you'd have to grow pubes to be able to shave them. Travis, my balls are way hairier than yours. You would know. You've seen them up close. Shit, I wouldn't go anywhere near your balls. 
Oh, she's bashful. <laughs> Wait, girl, you know you give the best hand jobs? Besides, <laughs> looks huge in those little hands. You do realize you're saying you'll let a guy jerk you off, right? I'm just saying, with enough alcohol and some poor lighting, you could pass for a 17-year-old girl. <laughs> you know he does have a point. What? She told me she was 18. <laughs> so, Aaron, why didn't you drink? No, you're not demean mooring it down there, are you? I don't want to play right now. Can we do something else? I got a story to tell. No one wants to hear your stupid ghost stories, Travis. No, it's not man. I read it on Facebook so you know it's true. Apparently, some mental hospital around here had some patient escape. So what, an old man in a wheelchair broke out of a hospital and washed the out? No, it was a woman. She got committed years ago for, like, killing a couple people or something like that, and a couple months ago she just flipped the and killed two orderlies. Oh my god, seriously? Yeah, I mean, the article didn't say much, but I read into the comments. Apparently, they didn't even know what happened until the next day. All they found was her eye. Dude, you completely f That's the dumbest story I've ever heard. Can we change the subject? Look, I'm just saying. It's a true story. It sounds like we would load of to me, Travis. But I got a real story for you. It's about a guy who wears one glove. He's got a really face, and he likes to chase around little children. Freddy Krueger? I'm talking about Michael Jackson. That motherfucker's scary as <laughs> right. You're a terrible ass. Look, I was trying to warn you guys, okay? One of those lunatics escaped and now there's a bloodthirsty killer on the loose. You know, you're a dick, Travis. You shouldn't call people stuff like that. What did I say? I didn't know what I was saying was gonna piss anybody off. What the does the move have to do with Travis's lame ass story and Aaron getting upset in the first place? Dude, I swear I'm not making this up. True story. I like the part where you call them lunatics. So, can you tell me what that was about? Nothing. I just don't like hearing people say stuff like that. Not everyone with a mental issue is a monster. Do you know somebody with a mental issue? Sometimes I just feel responsible for what happened. What do you mean? Hey, Aaron. Are you okay? Look, I'm sorry about what Travis said. I told him he needs to put a filter on it next time. Yeah, I'm fine. We were just getting ready to come back in. Well, good. Let's go inside. Don't let that prick ruin your time. Can you come talk to me for a second? I'll be back. Look, what is it? You know I'm busy right now. Oh my gosh, I was going to see if I'm going to take some of this X with me and see if I'm going to repay you for it. I'm going to take a rain check on that, so maybe Eric will be interested. You know she's not into you, right? Look, if you say anything about us, I will f you b Sorry about that. What the f is this? What's wrong? I'm going for seconds to the f my grave. I didn't know we had a signed seat. Josh, what's your problem? His problem is he's trying to f That's his problem. Josh, what the hell is wrong with you? It takes a real piece of to put his hands on a woman. You two f are in this together, aren't you? What the hell are you talking about? They know. They've been trying to f shit on me for this whole weekend, and I'm sick of it. If you're referring to you and Andrea, I already know. She told me a while ago, and I told her she should stop because she's with Travis. What about you and me? You're more like a brother to me. Your brother? Are you kidding me? I'm not your brother. Yeah, but you're the closest thing I have left to him. We were friends. That doesn't make me him. So why do I get stuck in the friend zone just because your brother offed himself? Josh, that's enough. He was high. He wouldn't have done it if he wasn't. Well, I see. You still blame me for him doing drugs, don't you? Did I say that? No. Just stop. Look, I've been doing drugs a lot longer than he has, and I didn't off myself. He was just weak. Oh, pull up a chair and enjoy the show. You can next. Just stop. Look, he swallowed a bullet because he hated his life. The drugs were just here to cushion the blood. I can't do this. Excuse me. You sorry son of a bitch. her. She knew what this was. Yeah, now she knows who you are. Good, I sure as hell wasn't trying to hide it. Now you can my face, you dyke. Well, Josh, come on, man. You, man. Moe's dead. That's not my problem. Get the out of here. You want to be a thigh diver with her in the bedroom? Go for it. But I'm going to Travis and Bella and get the out of here. Go to hell. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. You.
Travis, I just heard your phone, you dick. Don't hit the hater button on me. Where are you, mother? Travis, this isn't funny. I'm getting the out of here, dude. Look, dude, did Aaron call you? Give me the keys and I'll drive myself home. I'm not in the mood for this shit. You know I can just call your phone again. When I find you, I'm gonna put my foot in your ass, Travis. Travis! Man, you, Travis. Fuck his shit. Travis, seriously, is this what you've been doing the whole time? Be you convinced to come out here dressed like this. Travis, you don't want a problem with your little friend. It's kind of hot. Hey, Travis, hope you don't mind, but uh, this one's going home with me tonight. Do you know where Travis is? Where the f is he? I don't mind him watching, but we can either do this here or take it back to my place. It's up to you. Travis, is that way? I guess we ain't gonna see Travis and Robert anymore. Did anybody want a shotgun of beer? What a mess. Find Robert? No, but then again, I really wasn't looking very hard. Oh well, What about Josh? Did you see Josh out there anywhere? No. Why? Well, basically, he was being a douchebag, said some shit to Aaron, and then stormed out of here. Got it. Sorry, I asked. Right, nice. What are you doing? I'm stroking on your chest here. It's weird. It's, it's possibly the softest beer in all the world. Would you like to? I'm gonna pass. See what you're saying? Don't even look over here. You, you couldn't pay me enough to let you put your hands on my face. I'm talking about Andrea. Oh, she could pet me at any time. <laughs> you know, this cabin is full of anger. We're supposed to just be hanging out, having fun, drinking beer. You guys are a bunch of haters. Calm down, Bilbo. Wait a minute, damn it. I'm not a hobby. Does it look like I got big feet? Looks like someone's got a Napoleon calm. F you, Travis. Let's leave the little guy alone. I'm not little. I'm just slightly below average height. Little, little is offensive to my people. It's okay, Eric. I think short guys are cute. I'll be your little wherever you want me to be. You don't think Josh would be coping? Yeah, sure. Josh. I wouldn't hold my breath. What the f But you better let me f go. Let me the f up. I'm not playing. Let me f up. What the f am I doing in here? You better let me. I will break your face if you don't let me out of here. Let me the f up. Let me the f up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Put that down. It's real funny. Let me up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, you in? Stop. So you wanna go back to the bedroom, finish what we started earlier? I'm not doing it in the cabin again after what happened earlier. They already know what's the difference. Yeah. Come on, I've got blue balls this big, besides. You gotta fulfill your womanly duties. Womanly duties? I'll break your dick off and beat you with it. Alright, let's go to the woods then. No, I'm not laying my bear naked on the ground. Fine, we can go out there and you can blow me. What's in it for me? I'll give you a back rope. Fine.
Where are you guys going? Take a little walk. He's Look, we have plenty of time for romance this weekend. Right now, I just need to get a nut. Fine. Do you? Looks good to me. Need to kiss first? No. Cuddle. Fuck you. More teeth. Yeah, more teeth. Eye contact. More of it, too much. Getting freaky. Nope. Yeah. Cradle. Cradle. Do the thing I showed you in the video. The thumb thing. Yeah. Well, this sucks and nobody left. Um. Hello, we're still here. Stuck in a cabin with two girls. What the f gonna do? Have a makeover or something? Oh no, what am I gonna do alone in a cabin with two girls? I know, right? It's a f thing. <laughs> do it. Hey, Eric, we could all get in the hot tub together. No, I don't like hot tubs. So you don't wanna get in the hot tub with me anymore? No, it's too cold out there. I don't even have any swim trunks, anyways. You don't need to get in the hot tub. That's just stupid. I'm not getting in a hot tub with Gene. Would you rather get in the bed instead? Why the f do I want to go to sleep? I'm trying to party. Please not get in there. Let me try. Hey, Eric, do you want to have a threesome with me and Amber? A what? Sex, dummy. Do you want to have sex with me and Aaron? For real? Hell yeah. Okay, go get in the bedroom and take all your clothes off. Amber and I are going to freshen up first. Okay, I'll go get ready. We didn't lay tonight. <laughs> That's what you get for calling us lame. We should take a picture. Oh my god, if you go in there and he's doing like a sexy pose, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Let's go smoke while we Hey man, come on. Come on man, I'm trying to get laid. Get the out of here. Hey, Eric! He's hurt, we have to help him. No, dude, he's dead. What? He was just, he was, who, who would do this? I think Josh is a pretty good guess. No, Josh is a but Josh wouldn't do something like this. Dude, you don't think it's weird that Eric winds up dead after you pretend like you're going to sleep with him? You don't think he was watching us? We're the only ones here. What? Why hasn't anyone come back? What if they're all dead? Dude. All right, so I've checked all the rooms. Whoever it was is gone. So what do we do? We need to get to a safe spot where we can call the police. What if they're still out there? You stay here, I'll go to the truck and try to get help. I don't think we should split up. We should both go. Dude, it's safer in here. You don't know what's out there. If we both go, we could both be dead. Just trust me, Erin. Okay, just be careful.
yesterday for my birthday. It's so cool. I've been taking lots of pictures with it. That's cool. Can I record video? <laughs> Open up. Hang in there, I'm a cop. I'm gonna get you some help. This is Officer Richards. I need your help at 142 Springwood Drive. Quick, I need backup and ambulance. Just hang in there with me. I want to have a look around. Why are you doing this? Aniki, come on now. You ain't got to do this. Why are you doing this? Hello, Detective Richards. Richards, there's two of them. She has a sister. Sister? A scary movie. Okay, and I'll be the killer. I'll be the hero. We need more people though. Okay, I'll ask my mom and sister. What am I doing again, baby? I'm the killer and I kill you with a knife. Oh, can I be in it? Sure, you can be one of the victims. Okay. Yeah, and I'm the survivor girl. I get to stop the evil killer and be a hero. Very heroic of you, Erin. Mom, you're supposed to be rooting for me. Why can't I root for you if you're the killer? I could be the good guy. Here, let's use this one instead. Why can't we use this one? It looks too fake. Do you want our movie to be good or not? Yeah, but this one's really sharp. If you're too scared to do it, I'll do it. No, I'm the killer. I can do it. Can I hold the camera? No, I'm filming. And action!
When you're dead, you don't know it. I will come and I will sleep beside When you. When you're dead, you don't know it. I will come when I am deep inside When you. When you're dead, you don't know it. I will keep you right since you can't see When me. When you're dead, you don't know it. I can't wait to see how your skin fits When me. When you're dead, you don't know it. I will come and I will sleep beside When you. When you're dead, you don't know it. I will come when I am deep inside When you. When you're dead, you don't know it. I will keep you right since you can't see When me. When you're dead, you don't know it. I can't wait to see how your skin fits me. Mm.